the Vatican. People already kind of know about that in Hollywood. People are about to know about that. That's the two things that fucking surprise me the most is that all this fucking information is right there on the fucking internet. It's all fucking there. Everything that I'm saying. People don't want to believe what I'm saying. Fine. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you too. It doesn't matter because you could look it up. It's there. It's not a secret anymore. And the other fucking surprise is that nobody does a fucking thing about it. Family is defined by two things. One of two things. Blood or honor. And I'll damn sure take honor over blood. We can't choose our family. We choose our friends. I gave my fucking life, literally, to this fucking thing. And the fucking hypocrisy is what drives me insane. We call ourselves family. You got 10 minutes. This guy comes in with a hood and we're told that the supreme ruler of the family, this more or less energy, higher power, our God, is I'm the filmmaker for this project and I've been wrestling with this footage over the last seven or eight months, not knowing, going into the interview with what exactly Johnny was going to talk about. My name is Jonna Jackson. I am a producer. I live in Hollywood, California. Johnny and I met Tampa, gosh, I guess about 25 years ago, met on a party boat, and Johnny was the life of the party. Um, he came right up to me. I was a little enamored, doing a little drugs, maybe. Had a little ecstasy happening. I think um, Johnny might have been the source of that. I never really asked him, to be honest with you, but it was pretty evident. We stayed friends, and um, we still saw each other, have a few drinks together, but it never went really any further than that. Being somebody who has been a filmmaker, a writer, and dealing with controversial, edgy topics, we deal with violence and death and rape, to talk to somebody who has seen that in real life with no barrier between us at all was uh, scary and ominous. And going through the footage hasn't been any less of that. It's, in fact, been more. What we never really talked about is what he did for a living. You know, when he called me, this was a really different call. Asked me for some help by just getting a couple camera people together and he wanted to tell his story on film. It was more serious than I've ever heard Johnny before and he asked me that I could do this within the next day and I asked him if he was, Am, are you putting my life in jeopardy? Is your life in jeopardy? You sound so serious about this. He said that there was a lot happening. He didn't want to talk too much about it over the phone. I just said, you know, Johnny, are you going to say things that I just don't want to know about? And he said, I need to tell this story. And I want to let you know that I actually have a meeting with the FBI. I watched um, what the boys had shot. And uh... it was an issue with money, you know? An issue with money. When there's an issue with money, that's about as serious as it fucking gets, you know what I mean?